السلام علیکم گائز ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل الیکٹرانک ڈیوائس انالیسس ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس این ایگزامپل بیسڈ آن کامن بیس کانفیگریشن سو گائز وائی دس ویڈیو ٹل دا اینڈ اینڈ ڈونٹ اسکپ ان بٹوین بیکاز دس از ویری ویری انفارمیٹو ویڈیو اف یو وائی دس ٹل دا اینڈ دین یو ول بی ایبل ٹو سولو این ایگزامپل بیسڈ آن کامن بیس کانفیگریشن سو گائز لیٹ اسٹارٹ So guys, first of all we see some steps to solve the examples of common base configuration. The first step to solve the examples of common base configuration is you have to know that the transistor is working or not. A transistor is work when its base emitter junction is forward biased and the collector based junction is reverse biased. So guys first of all you have to see that the base emitter junction is forward biased must be forward biased and collector based junction must be reverse biased therefore you can solve the examples of any types of the transistor so guys the second step is that to solve any example of common base configuration first you have to analyze its input loop and then its output loop in input loop the base emitter junction is present in common base configuration but in output loop the collector base junction is present and the base terminal the transistor symbol is that If the base is common between the collector and the emitter and it is common between the input loop and the output loop so this will be a common base configuration so guys these are the two steps which we have to follow to solve the examples of common base configuration so guys let's start with the first example of common base configuration so guys this is our example number one based on common base configuration and you will see that the base terminal of the transistor the base terminal of the transistor is common between the input loop and the output loop so therefore it will be called as the common base configuration because it is common between the input loop and the output loop the emitter side is shown with an arrow and the this arrow is not pointed to this boundary so it is will be a npn transistor this is n side this is p side and this will be the n side so guys So this is the first question that the transistor is work or not a transistor is work when its base emitter junction is forward biased and collector base junction is reverse biased and in this condition the n terminal or the emitter terminal of the transistor is connected with the negative terminal of the battery and the positive terminal of the transistor is connected with the positive terminal of the battery so its base and emitter terminal of the transistor is forward biased so first condition will be meet and second condition is what that the collector base junction must be reverse biased so positive is connected with their negative terminal of the battery or negative terminal of the transistor and negative terminal of the battery is connected with the positive terminal of the transistor so it will be a reverse bias condition so our collector base junction is reverse biased so second condition will be meet now our second step is that that the base terminal is common between input loop and output loop so first we analyze its input loop and then its output loop and in this circuit you will have to find the collector current and the collector base voltage so guys in input loop first you have to find ie or the emitter current in the circuit so guys in input loop we will apply kvl formula in kvl formula this arrow will touch the positive terminal of the battery first so we'll write plus 10 volts and then it is the arrow will touch to this resistor side then the battery voltage will be drop over this resistor so this will be minus from this resistance so minus 2k into ie i is what this is an emitter current because emitter current is flows from this side 
because this will the emitter bonds so therefore this will be the emitter current which will be for flow from this resistor bunch and then minus and this junction will be present this junction is what the base emitter junction and this base emitter junction is forward biased as you have already know that the diode if diode is forward biased then it will be drop 0.7 volt on it so guys there will be 0.7 volts so will be drop over there so we'll write VBE or 0.7 volt over there so guys let's solve this equation and this will be equals to 0 10 minus 2k into IE minus 0.7 is equals to 0 9.3 volts 10 minus 0.7 is 9.3 minus which will be equals to 2k into IE and then we will solve IE which is 9.3 divided by 2k so it will be equals to 4.15 milliamps so guys now we will solve the output loop of the transistor in output loop we will same apply the KVL formula in output loop there will be a collector base junction and collector base junction is reverse biased so we will not know this value so KVL formula is as follows this is touch plus 5 volt in this direction so plus 5 volts is draw power this will be second equation plus 5 volt will be drop in this resistance and this resistance will be RC or the collector resistance and IC or the collector current is flow from there so 5 minus 1.5k into IC minus VCB so guys this will be the KVL formula of the output loop in this equation we will not know the value of VCB we will find we will have to find IC and we will have to find VCB so guys first we have to find IC as we have already know that IE will be equals to IC plus IB and you have already know that the base current is too small so IE is approximately equals to IC so IE is exactly same value as of IC so we will then this value IC will be equals to 4.15 milliamps if you don't follow this formula then there is an other formula and which is which is IE is equals to 1 plus beta times IB and you will know the value of IE then you will find the value of IB from there and this will be IE over 1 plus beta and here beta of the transistor is not given so if the beta of the transistor is not given then you will follow this formula if beta of the transistor is given then you will follow this formula you will find IB then IC is equals to beta times IB then you will find IC from there so guys these are two formulas which will calculate the value of IC so guys let's solve this KVL formula 5 minus 1.5k into IC 4.15 milliamps minus VCB and this will be equals to 0 so guys VCB upon the other side is positive so 5 minus is equals to VCB these two multiplications is equal to and this will be equals to 6.22 volts so 5 minus 6.22 is minus 1.22 volts and this will be equals to collector base voltage so guys we will know the value of IC IC will be equals to 4.15 milliamps and we will know the value of VCB and this will be equals to minus 1.22 volt we can ignore this sign because we can know that the, the potential the potential 
of this side is greater than this side so therefore it will be a negative sign over there so guys no don't confuse from this sign so guys i hope you will understand it carefully so guys this will be end of our today's lecture we will solve some other examples in next lecture